as the English and Welsh squads head for the sunshine and warmth of Spain and Portugal, the Scots have chosen to stick to the familiar surroundings of home and hold their trial at Murrayfield. Bill McLaren reports. Well, the principal areas of interest in this Scottish trial were firstly the left wing berth and whether Ivan Tukolo could regain that berth. And in the trial, Tukolo was directly opposed to Tony Stanger, who scored five tries in two internationals this season. And then tight head prop and flanker. Ian Milne was directly opposed to David Sowell in the trial. And Milne, Finlay Calder and John Jeffrey, great stalwarts, were all in the Reds or Junior pack. And of course, the selectors were looking for the continuity of interplay that has so marked Scotland's style in recent seasons. That interplay became a stirring feature of the Blues performance. Oliver and Wiley are reliable link, and with the Hastings brothers and Lenin in trenchant form in midfield, as here when Gavin Hastings was sent clear by his brother Scott, tap tackled by Stuart Jardin. And then, although the Blues forwards didn't quite win the ball as they wanted to here, throughout they produced some sumptuous possession. And another example of the interplay as Jeremy Macklin, the replacement uh, number eight, picks up. Lenin drives on for a try by Buchanan Smith, who had an impressive game. He scored for a Blues lead of 21-0 at half-time. Even without Ian Milne, John Jeffrey and Finlay Calder, the Blues pack gave a storming display, not least in broken play support. And perhaps the most impressive sequence of continuous interplay in which the support work of the Blues, of the Blues tight forwards was thoroughly impressive throughout, led to a try by Chris Gray in tremendous form. Here David Soule carrying on the move, Jeremy Macklin, and then Lenin with this long pass out to Tony Stanger, who didn't get many chances of showing his wares today, but played very steadily. And then Chris Gray in support, and look at that drive. That was one of the great features. Try for 31-0 with 15 minutes of the second half gone. In the battle for the left wing berth, Ivan Tukolo, 18 caps and nine international tries, played pretty well, but without the same attacking opportunities as his rival, Lindsay Rennick. Because here, as the Blues forwards won retreat ball brilliantly, and then Greg Oliver waiting, what a good game he had, out to Wiley. Then in comes Lindsay Rennick, and look at this superb run, the perfect timing of the pass for the first of Scott Hastings' two wonderful tries. The kind of intermingling between backs and forwards that Ian McGeehan, the Scottish coach, is seeking is shown here when first of all Sean Lenin drove and then Ken Milne sent his two big Anglo lock forwards away. Gavin Hastings joined in, then Buchanan Smith out to Wiley. And here Scott Hastings just tap tackled. And once again the forwards arriving and producing absolutely superb ball. Cronin once more a lock forward onto Gray the other lock. And that's the kind of play that really marks Scotland's current style. Gavin Hastings kicked only four goals out of ten attempts, but his powerful running gave the attack an added dimension, as here with this wonderful mazy threat, as if he was playing seven asides. Almost ran out of space there, onto Brother Scott, and still very much in it. And then Chris Gray providing the forward support that was at the very heart of the Blues' 45 points to four win. A bit one-sided, but still with a number of encouraging features for Scotland's selectors and coaches. Ian, would it be fair to say that that victory was so decisive for the Blues that it was almost uh, negative? Well, no, I think uh, from our point of view, it's nice to see the players playing in such a positive way. And we always feel that we've got to attack games and, and play with a, in a positive frame of mind, and I think certainly that came out from, uh, from the game today. The blue forwards were really going a bundle, weren't they? A storming display. You must have been particularly happy with that. Yes, uh, um, in the contact situations, they didn't lose the ball and they, they kept the pace of the game up, which, which is important for us. And uh, they linked well with the backs without having uh, the breakdowns or the game slowing down. What would you take out of it, though, as far as the Reds were concerned? Obviously, you were playing a couple of your front-line troops in terms of uh, Geoffrey and Calder there. It was dispiriting for them, perhaps, to be at the uh, receiving end of such a beating. Well, I think, uh, yes, I don't think many people would have thought of that when they looked at the sides before the game. And it's obviously helped uh, the Blues having played two internationals already this year and coming into the trial. But I think it's important from the point of view of the younger players and the other players who are on the fringes 
to be involved in a game like this because you you need to give them the experience as well. And although you know we'd say there's a settled look to our side at the moment, it's important that that the younger players are getting the experience all the time and playing with and against you know the likes of Finlay and and John Jeffrey.